Hi friends, welcome back to art class. So today we have been learning about Paul Klee, the famous painter, and we've been looking at his painting Cat and Bird. And today we're going to make our own version of Cat and Bird. So to get started, you're going to want a piece of paper, a pencil, a black marker, and then to color later, we're gonna either use your choice markers or crayons. Let's get started. So friends, the first thing we're going to do is we are going to make a kind of like a W shape. So starting on one side, we're going to have a straight line going down. And you know what? Let me go ahead and do this in pen just so you can see what I'm doing. You should do yours in pencil. Here we go. So I'm going to have one line going down this way. Perfect. We're going to have it come up a little bit kind of looks like a W shape. This line will come down. We're going to start it. What, what I do to help me make my lines level is I'll put my finger on the first line and kind of try to run it across as straight as I can to where I want the other line to start. And then we're going to make a W shape just like that. Do your best, forget the rest. Now we're going to make the top of this curve line curve line. Let's try to get them to meet in the middle. You can just keep on working it till it happens. Then we're going to take this line and go all the way down. And then we're going to take this line and go all the way down. Just like that. Now let's add an eye. So remember eyes are football shapes and we're going to try to fill in this whole space. So let's do a practice one with your finger. Perfect. Yes, beautiful friends. Let's do another practice one over here. Curve over here, curve back to there. Yay. Now we're going to make a mouth. So we're just going to go down here into this empty space and put a curve line. Excellent. Then we're going to add some eyes. The center part of the eye, the pupil, we can practice. Curve line, curve line. And look, my eyes aren't perfect, but I think it gives my cat a lot of character. Now let's add the whiskers. Our whisker, oh, let's put a heart shape in for the nose. Did you notice the heart shape on the original one? I did. Ooh la la. Let's put some more on, on this side. Let's practice. Beautiful. We always wanna practice with our fingers if we're not feeling very secure in what we're doing. Like we're, if we're afraid we're gonna make a mistake, try with your finger first. Now let's add the bird up top. So I'm going to pick a line like a fish, kind of like that. Then I'm going to add a leg and another leg, make that into a triangle and a shape for the head and the beak and an eye. And there is our Paul Klee cat and bird drawing. Now, now that we've done this part, we can, I'm going to speed up the video and show you how to color it. We're going to color the whole thing, the cat, the bird, and the background. Here we go. All right, friends, here is my finished Paul Klee cat and bird drawing. 
I've made it my own. I've made it, I've drawn it myself. I've colored it myself. If you were using the pencil though, I one thing I forgot to mention is you might want to outline your drawing with a marker when you are done so you can see all your beautiful lines like you can see my pen lines here. So trace your pencil lines when you're finished. Color nice and neat. Stop at the stop signs. Make it however you want. I want to see how you make this picture your own picture. So put your own personality in it and I can't wait to see them and I hope you have a really good time and I'll talk to you later. Bye guys.